The mountains and valleys mourn the death of Wan Di, founder of the Great Sui Empire. His second son, Yang Di, has inherited the throne and his father's grand vision. Work on the still unfinished Grand Canal system must be carried through to completion. Like a vibrant artery connecting head and heart, once completed, the Grand Canal will link the southern rice basket with the populous north. The southern terminus of the Grand Canal will be at Yangzhou, near the mouth of the great Yangtze River. It is there where you have been sent to oversee construction of this leg of the project and to guide development of the city. While commoners toil on the project, however, the elite of Yangzhou can now enjoy the fabulous new art of drama, especially when performed at a theater pavilion accompanied by talented musicians and nimble acrobats. Meanwhile, a new emperor keeps a watchful eye on the ignoble kingdom of Kogyo. Do not be surprised if troops are needed to campaign there. G'day mates and welcome back to Emperor. Looks like we're heading into a um, something similar to a, a capital building mission. Quite a lot of people in the Heavenly Compound and of course the Grand Canal Monument. Um, I'm suspecting this one will be quite a bit more difficult than the previous one. Uh, well, that doesn't strike me as particularly difficult other than the fact that there, look, there may well be a military component to this. We also have drama, which is going to be very interesting. Let's have a look what drama does for us. I want to have a look at this building because... Uh, ooh. Um, I have a feeling that... I gotcha. Okay, so it's very much like Emperor and Pharaoh. The, um, the drama school creates a walker that will then head up, you know, same as, the, as these buildings, but then the Theatre Pavilion is the destination. So drama is not performed in the Market Square. So, so far entertainment has been made in the Market Square. The people go there and then a walker is produced by this that goes around and does all the um, same as the food and everything. In this case now, it's going to be a Theatre Pavilion that goes in a noble quarter somewhere and the drama school can be wherever and it can send up a walker. That's interesting. I wonder if it'll work with the other the other types, acrobats and music, if they go to a theatre or not, or if they continue to go through the normal style. I'll have to test that one out. But either way, we get ourselves a grand canal right through the centre here. This one actually looks like it's longer than the previous map, although it's hard to remember because it's been several months since I played that one, I think. Um, we have a fair bit of space here. I think this is a much more spacious map than the previous one. I can build all my city stuff up here, do a lot of farming down there, get the noble quarters in. What was it? It was a hundred years, I think five buildings, but I'll try and build a couple more just in case my uh, my math is off. Uh, hang on, actually, heavenly compound. Yeah, I've, I've been able to build impressive compounds, not heavenly compounds. This is going to be cool. I don't think I've actually built up this high before. Now, of course, we can grow cabbage and... Ooh, that's not good. So we're going to need four food type. Oh, hang on. There you go. We can fish. Where can we fish? Probably all along here. So I'm going to want the uh, food distribution to be up here. And uh, yeah, it's the only bit of fishing, fishing. So even so, that's only three types of food. So we're going to require four types of food for the heavenly compounds, I think. So that's something I'm going to have to work on. We can grow tea, which is useful. But okay, so we can't grow lacquer. We've got a lot of timber, so maybe we can just import the lacquer and, uh, and produce the lacquerware. Nope, nope, can't do that either. Shit, okay, so this is going to be an import heavy mission. We can't, yeah, we can't produce silk, we can't grow silk, we can't produce lacquer, and we can't even produce lacquerware. So we're going to have to import the lacquerware and the final finished silk product to uh, build up our nobles, as long with at least one, possibly two food types. Because fishing is, there's not a huge amount of fishing that we can do here. That's, uh... That's only a couple of fishing keys that we can throw in here. Is there anywhere else they can fit? No, there's nowhere else that I can get fish from. So quite a problem. We've got stone over here, which we're going to need. So we don't need to import the stone. That's good. And uh, all we need is the laborers to do all the work digging it out. And it's just the stone mason's guild to throw it all down and fill it with water. This I think I can do. Um, we're going to have to see how we go anyway. Alrighty guys, we are nicely set up. Now I've gone for a combination of my messy city plan that I do like with a uh, with the standard efficiency that I like to have in. So rather than put everything in big long straight lines down here, 
I've tried to have a nice close central distribution area with uh, sort of the in interconnected feel of, uh, of my previous messy city that I liked so much that wasn't quite as well planned as it could be. Now we've got up here a, um, a noble quarters place down. I've got these two down so I can start working on my military if required. I'm a little bit worried that Larsa is going to be a, uh, a problem early on. Uh, not that it's really been too much of an issue in previous military encounters, but uh, hopefully they won't come on. So I'm, I'm prepared to jump into military to at least get two forts down and, uh, and I can throw in the nobles as soon as I get the ceramics put together. Now, down here, I've actually had a guy recently commenting on some of my videos. Um, uh, uh, semi, I think his name is Semi Precious Metals, perhaps, or something like that. Semi Precious Stones, whatever. He, um, he has informed me that the Inspector's Tower has a 33 square walking distance. So that is this road here, 33 squares all the way up there. So that has given me a good sort of feng shui positive location to put down all of these um, central storage areas. I've been eyeballing it. I didn't quite realize it was that long, but it's good to know that they can go that far. Hopefully this mill won't burn down filled with my food and we can actually use that uh, to our advantage using a little bit of gaming knowledge to uh, make the city look nice and beautiful. Anyway, with that, I think we're going to, I'm going to have to lay down the farms probably down here. I'm going to do majority of my farming as well as Actually, I might do it over here. I think I'm going to do all the food farming over here and leave this one for probably tea. Yeah, tea is the only thing I can grow over here. So throw some tea bushes down there and, uh, and do the other stuff over here. Okay, now farms are all nicely set up. I've actually missed some of it. That's a good thing that I double check that. Throw that in there. So with our farms all nicely set up here, we've got a combination of cabbage and, uh, and rice. So that's not going to be enough food. We're going to need to get the fish coming in as well but that can be done hopefully through this gap here so I can get the fishing to be all thrown along here they will come up through this gap here uh, and then I'll have quick access down to the mill it's not as quick as I would like but it will have to do for now the other alternative of course <clears throat> is to have a storage warehouse up here it'll be out of feng shui I'm not going to put it that far up have a storage warehouse somewhere up here out of feng shui and then have this mill to go up and get it because it won't need to be getting anything else we're going to have so much food coming in from these ones here that they can all just back up at the mill won't bother storing them this time and uh and that is i think the city we need to just uh plow forward oh, one thing to keep in mind i have got all these disconnected so that's one to three food farms disconnected and the two hemp farms are currently unable to get workers. I will be able to reconnect those as required. It's only gonna be this first one that will work in the early part. Okay, Chang'an has become an ally again. They Are they gonna trade with us? Yes, they will trade with us as well, although I've also sent off a dude towards them. So Chang'an now is our ally. They will buy carved jade, paper, rice we can sell, although it's a very low value good in low quantities. So it may not be worth it. Lacquerware we can't do. Paper we can make. Can I make carved jade? I didn't actually think about that. Uh, no, we can make paper. So they will buy a small volume of paper and a small volume of rice. Um, I'm sure I can, uh, well, I'm gonna need to. If there's nothing else big that I can produce, that's what we're gonna need, I think. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be any raw resources here other than stone, which is relatively low value and loads and loads of timber. Although, um, we can't turn it into lacquerware, so, hmm, not really sure what we'll do here. Okay, Yen has rejected our trade agreement. Chang'an, of course, was already open. Lanzhou and uh, Changzhou has opened up and Guangzhou has opened up and Chengdu's opened up. So we've got a fair few off the bat without having to gift them anything. Now, you will buy tea, which we can produce. The others are of no use at all. You will buy tea, a small amount of tea at least, and again, nothing useful, although you will sell us some lacquerware. Uh, you'll sell us weapons. Uh, Chengdu, actually that's, ooh, that's a tra naval trade route. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that tea off to the Navy area. You will buy nothing particular, a bit of, bit of cabbage, a bit of cabbage. That could be handy, I suppose. It's not gonna be low value, but 24 is not an uh, insignificant sum. And of course you'll buy mm, tea and rice. So it uh, looks like it's gonna be food we're gonna be trading. 
and T. And you need T as well. It looks like T is our main trade good here. So I should get cracking onto the T production once our um, once our stuff's done here. T, of course, can be sold if... Yeah. Oh, fuck. I can't build that there. God damn it. That would be perfect, except that little tiny bit of coast is in the way. I suppose I can put it there because there are no houses nearby. So I can throw the T export there to, um, to Guangzhou. That's 24T. And then the rest of them can just come down into this area here. I will... Uh, might even put the tea over here and just grow it there. So we should be in a pretty good situation from here. I think I can manage quite well. All we need now is to get the population in and get the workers that we require. I'm going to put government to a low priority for now, simply because they are, well, they're not doing anything. And religion we need, religion we don't necessarily need, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, we're going to be good. Commerce is the biggest drain at the moment. Commerce and safety. And uh, agriculture will be once I start connecting them. Okay, I've ended up setting government on very low. Religion just on low, simply because we're going to need the agriculture to get more people. These guys should start coming in. They still just need bland food, which is going to come up shortly. It's going to be cabbage that they'll be eating, because I don't think we're going to produce very much rice here in this first season. Oh, with a fair bit of rice. A hundred... So 500 rice we produced. No, looks like we got 900 rice. That's pretty good, actually. It's pretty good for a first little bit. So I can use that in the food shop. Rice is very profitable. Uh, very, very high production, I mean. So we'll throw a food shop in here and uh, just give them bland food for the time being. And I'll start eating that rice up. Then, uh, then we can move on to the cabbage when uh, and it'll stabilize this block here. There we go, looking nice. Next up is going to be to ensure that we have enough for the hemp to come on once the workers provide the hemp. Then with that, we'll be able to start working on tea, followed by eventually ceramics and things like that. Okay, yen has become an ally. That's interesting. We can now trade with yen via... Because they did reject our um, trade agreement before, but now they'll buy a small amount of tea. Unfortunately, it's via naval trade route, so that's not going to be worth anything. They will sell us a small amount of food. Let me think about this. We're going to need, um, um, we're going to need, let's put you, there is nowhere else you can go other than down here, which is too far away. So I'm going to have to eat up some of my, actually put it there. So it's going to eat up some of my fishing grounds, but if it brings in more bean curd or some kind of food source, then that's what we're going to have to work with. And who's Subby? I didn't even notice Subby before. I don't know if they just appeared or if my eyes were not paying attention. Either way, Subby is there. We're going to open up with them as well. See if we can trade with them. Although, given that we're told to look out for them, they're probably going to be the aggressor in this particular mission. Okay, with 13% unemployment, although it will devolve shortly when these... Well, they haven't run out of food just yet, but it will run out of food at some point in the future because they're not buying bland food anymore. And uh, while I'm here, I'll also throw down something for you as well. Thank you. Go buy plain food. So they will, um, we've got a good unemployment, and they will level up very shortly once this next harvest comes in, which is going to be in the near future. I've also gone ahead and connected all the farms. Looks like the hemp harvest has just, or the hemp um, growing has just begun. So they're going to level up further as well, up to the um, ceramics level. Which means I should probably start working on tea. The question is, how much tea can I fit in here? I think I can fit four farms quite comfortably here. Uh, they may not be complete with these rocks in the way, but, but four farms should be pretty good. And I can get the trade dock up there in the corner as well. So that'll allow us to start working on all the tea exports. It'll also allow us to level these guys up and uh, start working towards heavenly compounds later on in the mission. Okay, Sabi has rejected our trade agreement just as I finished setting up this little tea area. Let's have a look at Sabi. They will need tea and rice, so I think we can buy them off fairly easily. Uh, they produce some bean curd, so it could be good to get them on side, perhaps. But uh, I think we'll be good if we can just keep these guys here. And we're going to have to put you... Let's just put you down there. Get that. Here we go. Now you, my friend, hopefully you haven't accepted anything else, but you are going to get only tea. With that we'll be able to export up to 24 tea and I can throw down additional uh, additional places as required in here and here. So that'll get, uh, that'll get all our tea exported. I don't think we produce that much 
it hasn't really been the most productive good. And it does look like... Where's the irrigation go up to? So it doesn't quite go to the irrigation to the center here. So it may be worthwhile deleting part of this and throwing a line of irrigation down the center here. Um, you know what, I'm going to do that. I don't know if it's going to cut production or increase production, but I'll, uh, I'll take a quick little risk with it here and, uh, and hopefully it'll all pay off. Okay, with the rice coming in now and the hemp fully loaded in, we can throw down a hemp shop and that'll level these guys up even further. With that, we should have everything that we require short of appetizing food and ceramics to go further. Now, the appetizing food should be fairly easy to come in here. Again, I'm not sure if it's going to produce enough, but I can also import bean curd via a trade route from Yen. Um, although, having said that, I think the next step is going to be to bring in weapons. Um, although, can I, can I export? Uh, you will buy... Uh, we need cabbage. Where can we get cabbage from? Someone who will buy cabbage or rice. Um, see, they would do it, but I suspect it's going to be them attacking me. Wheat, no, that's nothing useful there. Ah, I see, I got confused. I thought we were growing millet to this mission, but we're growing cabbage instead. So you'll buy cabbage. Um, and sell me weapons. So... Chengdu, I think I'm going to throw Chengdu in somewhere. And you'll buy rice and tea. As well as sell me a variety of different foods that I don't have. Three foods I don't have. Uh, Chengdu and Lanzhou. How am I going to do this? And what will you buy? Mm, tea. But that's not really a concern just yet. So Chengdu will buy um, cabbage and sell me weapons. Now weapons are what I think I'm going to need shortly. So if I can throw Chengdu down somewhere. If I can squeeze them in. Where, oh where can I squeeze them? Let's put Chengdu in there quite comfortably. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. To... Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, it takes four cabbages to be exported for a single... To pay for a single weapon. So I'm only going to import four at a time. And that will allow me to at least turn a profit if I'm selling everything here and, uh, and stocking up fully on weapons. So... Hopefully we're producing enough cabbage. I'm also going to find somebody who will buy rice, but I'm going to have to do that somewhere else, probably up here. Although again, this noble quarters is a little bit in the way, I suppose. Let me just think about that. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I suppose I don't need to use this area for nobles, so I can probably... It's not even good feng shui either, so I can probably use this for more trading stuff and just wall them off. I should have more than enough up there, I think, to take care of my uh, noble housing requirements. And a quick little expansion to our tea production. We've got uh, we've got the workers, although I am at very high. I'll start to drop that off shortly. We've got the workers, and we had the cash. It did take about two or three thousand. So hopefully, there's no big earthquakes or anything to totally screw me over. Uh, price increase for tea is useless because, as far as I can tell, there is no effect from that. Uh, and of course, we've got a whole bunch of rice and cabbage available, so I can probably bring, or end hemp. Uh, I can probably make you very, very happy with that if I start dropping off all the rice as required. It may be worth my while to start storing rice somewhere, so I'm going to throw down... I'm going to figure out who buys rice, first of all. I think that was... Um, Lanzhou will buy rice and tea. So, it's quite a long way to go, but if I throw them up here somewhere, we may be able to... Oh, hang on. I'm not trading with Lunjo. Okay, I'm going to have to give them something. Let's give them a nice big gift of rice. And trade with Lunjo has opened up, which is excellent timing. I can throw down the uh, tax collectors here and there, because we've just started paper production. Although it may be worthwhile. I know, hemp is coming in. That's good. So we should have sufficient hemp. And uh, Lanja, I want to throw them down somewhere. So, will they fit in there? Not quite nicely. That should be good, although it probably is a little bit close to the noble house that will end up being there. I'll have to see how that goes. Helping hand from you guys will give me 2,000 from Yen. I will take it, although I don't actually need it. It's only because I've been importing a couple of weapons. But you are going to export... Nope, you're going to export rice and a tea if we've got some available. And, of course, I need to import 
nothing else for the time being. But you will provide the food that will allow me to level up my nobles at a later date. Uh, and of course all the rice pouring into it. Spectacular. Okay, fairly healthy unemployment. Um, it's, it's, it's bad, but it's ready to move on. So I'm actually going to use this un unemployment to start working on the food that we require. So we're going to need at least three food types locally to ease our export, our import burden. Because I'm going to need to import a lot of things. So I'd like to keep that all to a minimum, if at all possible. So to that end, what we're going to do is throw down our fishing wharves here, and I'm going to probably end up doing ceramics back here as well. I think that's where I'll do all my ceramic production. I'll be able to come straight down through the center here and drop that off down here. It might be nice to do it up here, but I don't think the water table is quite good enough. I could possibly do it over there, or even in the middle of this foresty bit, if, uh, if the water table is good there. But otherwise, I think up here is where the ceramics are going to have to be made. Ah, year of the bunny rabbit again. It's the fire rabbit this time. Let's grab some special gifts and we got a vulture as well as a hell of a lot of bean curd. That will uh, do very little in the grand scheme of things other than upset our housing ever so slightly. But that doesn't matter too much. It'll just be a... Actually, it won't. Because we're not giving them ceramics, it's not going to change anything. But we'll give them a little bit of food variety for the time being. Um, but of course the, what was it, a vulture? A, yeah, the vulture is of course more handy there. Now down here we have ourselves nearly full forts. That's really what's eating into our cash. I'm buying this gradually and uh, only struggling with a few exports. Now, the next one I'm thinking of throwing down is Chang'an. If I can get them down, they will actually buy the paper that we're producing. A small amount of paper, but we can buy whatever's available. And uh, they will buy more rice as well, only a small amount of rice, but we can start exporting some of that as well. Because again, we're backing up on the rice here. It's going to be a little bit of an unemplo unemployment problem, but that will be taken care of when I start throwing down ceramics. At this point, okay, Yen attacks Sabi. Don't want word of our plans to spread. Da, da, da. Okay, so they want to borrow my troops to do a joint attack um, in three months so they can share in the glory. I will dispatch some, but I'm not going to send all of them. I'm going to send off the larger the larger fort and hope that a, a most of a single fort, two-thirds of it, should be enough to take them down. I need to keep the other guys around in case somebody tries to invade us. So I will uh, I'll dispatch those guys there. And hopefully that doesn't, uh, doesn't cost us the mission. Uh, collapsed building, that's not good. Let's have a look where it was. Looks like this fishing wharf here wasn't getting covered. So what I'll do is I'll throw you there and then you should be able to cover that fishing key all the way at the bottom there. It should not be more than 33, but it looks like the guy was going the wrong way. There you go, that'll cover that there. And let's watch him to make sure he goes all the way down. Yep, all the way down. That should cover it now. Now we do need to start gifting some tea away. Problem of course is that this is eating up all my tea. Let's go 12 at a time and you can uh, well one ship can only take 12 at a time so I'll put 12 in you as well and then we can start storing a bit so I can give to the ancestors as required. At this point it's just all uh, all just blocking up in here so even though we're trading it all away we're it's using up 72 per year just to keep this warehouse filled. Okay, it looks like our soldiers were too weak weak to defeat Sabi. That is a problem, although they do regard me more highly. Um, I, I don't know if that means anything. Let's have a quick look at that. Um, well, they're helpful. They're very, very happy. Very high, supplies to spare, food or goods. Well, maybe we can request something from them. How about we get a... A couple of crates of ceramics I think will be helpful. No, it's not going to be helpful because I'm building that at the moment. How about we grab some lacquerware? No, I want we weapons. That's what we want. The weapons will allow us to replace any losses that we may have taken. I'm going to need to put a small amount of weapon storage here. I'll just accept anything that comes in. Uh, let's not accept anything because it'll take it out of here. Let's accept up to... Yeah, I accept up to half for now. And then uh, you are still selling weapons, just a couple per year. So hopefully we can get something and that will pay off any losses we may have taken. Because we, our cash is starting to look good, we're exporting an absolute metric ton of tea. 
and uh, and we're keeping our gods happy at the same time. I uh, could probably even bring in some of these others once I get this noble block up and running. Oh, and good timing. Chung Zhou is now going to buy more tea. Which one is Chung Zhou? Uh, probably these guys over here. Nope. I have no idea. Chung Zhou, where are you? I haven't placed you down yet. Let's have a look what Chung Zhou does. They will fucking find them. Oh, there they are. They will buy 24 tea. But they also sell me my lacquerware. So I'm going to need them in the near future. I could probably put them there. Um, and then just use a getting warehouse over here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to throw down Chung Zhou here. And they can export more tea. So we've got even more cash. Let's do 12 at a time. And uh, we will begin to import the lacquerware. I can't import lacquer because I can't produce, I can't refine it into lacquerware. So we're going to import, let's say, um, four might be too high. Let's start with four. I can drop it down to two if I need to. And I'll just use a warehouse over here to gradually pull it in uh, so we don't go into the black too quickly because our exports are fairly limited. Uh, defeated warriors return. Ever vigilant. Ever prepare. How big is this fort? Uh, doesn't actually say where their flag is. Three, four of them. There's four of them. Okay, and there were only three of them. Looks like one of them's been produced from weapons. So only three of them survived. We lost most of that. So I will need... Uh, I will need eight weapons or more to pay off if Chang'an or Yen... You know, if Yen actually gives me the eight weapons, then we will be in a better position. Okay, employees required, which is great. I can bump that up to normal again. And uh, we're going to require 15 more. Again, six weapons. It's not that much, actually. Uh, but it did offset some of the losses. Now, we're going to start importing in... Uh, we're already importing in food. A variety of different food types. We've got um, millet, wheat, and salt coming in over here. And uh, a little bit of silk coming in. A little bit of... Where is it? Lacquerware coming in. This warehouse is going to start amalgamating them slowly. Wrong one, it's ceramics. This one's going to start amalgamating lacquerware and silk gradually. And uh, the four food types that we're going to have sitting over here, it's going to be a mixture of different four. I think we've got five or six um, coming into the city at the moment. But we're going with short 15 workers, which will actually not be a problem because once I set up this whole big noble area here, what it'll allow me to do is to... Uh, level up one of these blocks with ceramics and uh, and still give us a healthy unemployment surplus with which to work with. And here we go, ceramics beginning to accumulate in the city. It's time to start throwing down a couple of these guys here. I'll get them... Um, come on, what do you want? Uh, helping hand? Oh, she have gone into debt again. Thank you, Chang An. So lucky we had two allies here to uh, bring us out of debt. It's been... A little bit of a problem. What we're going to have to do is start taxing these nobles immediately so they can actually start paying for themselves. So I'll throw you there. And I'm going to have to roadblock off this stuff. Yep, there you go. So you now can start taxing these people. And they're going to require various shops to keep them... Let's go tasty food immediately. And they're going to require the shops to level them up properly. Okay, well we've reached impressive compounds which now require drama access. So let's figure out how we do this. I'm going to throw down a theater pavilion. I'm assuming there is a nice location to put it. Uh, not currently showing. Acrobats. Okay, so this can amalgamate everything I want. So what I'm going to do is go down here and by turning off an entertainment area, rice flour tubes. Ugh. Uh, by turning off the entertainment area, hopefully they'll all start to go up here. Now, I'm also going to require a drama school, which I could probably put... Um, I suppose I'll just put it down here, but I'll need to provide... Uh, actually, how about I just put it... No, because it's exactly 30... 33 tiles up to there, so I'm going to need to put you... Oh, let's throw you there, and put in safety right next to you. Oh, you can also notice over here that I have begun digging the canal. It's um, probably going to take a while, so I figured I would start using any excess employment we have to work on digging through that. Uh, throw in just a couple of these guys down here, 
and they can chip away. If I need to expand, of course, I've got more room down here and, and over here I can throw down a hell of a lot of them. But for the time being, I'm fairly satisfied with what we've got. It's probably also going to be worthwhile. Well, if I need to, I can bring in this as a defensive guy if, uh, if we do get attacked by anyone. But for the time being, uh, my gods are happy. And once this Grama access kicks in... Uh, no acrobats, they've got musicians, and they need drama. So I need to get my acrobats up there. They don't seem to be making their way up just yet. And there we go, a fully functional uh, theatre pavilion. So we've got ourselves drama, the orphan of the house of Chow. There are acrobatic performances, and the musicians are playing here. So the elite families should now... There we go, heavenly compound they've leveled up. I'm assuming tea would have been the other thing they required, but I've already thrown down the tea shop. So they are fully stocked up. Now these heavenly compounds are going to generate a massive amount of cash. And it's 25 of them, so we need 100. So I only need four of these total, so I've actually got extras. At this point, I may as well see if I can squeeze in a couple more. Uh, I need more hemp. Oh shit, we haven't got hemp. That is a big problem. In that case, it's going to be time to expand the hemp farms. Alrighty, Foreign Emissary, let's have a look at you. Gift of Stone, uh, I do want stone, but I'm going to have to postpone that temporarily. And the hemp is going here. We're going to miss this season because it's harvesting in another month. So this is not going to produce anything, but we do have a big backlog here that will help us. Um, paper is probably the one eating into most of it, along with the fact that throwing down houses and expanding them all would have eaten a lot of our supply. But hemp is coming in. That should be fixed next time, and I uh, could probably even squeeze another one in down there. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do. So I'll throw another little hemp farm in here. Two, three, one, two, three. And, uh, and find somewhere to store this stone. Okay, ornate apartments now in both of them. We are short of workers, but they haven't yet moved in. As they begin to move in, I will see if we need to drop in tea to bring these guys up a little bit further. And that will uh, level us up to the top level. Let's have a quick look at our cash income here. We're making nearly 7,000 cash in taxes so far, and that's likely to go up quite a bit higher, probably 7,500 when these guys are fully moved in, uh, assuming my rough guesstimation is correct. And uh, I suppose luxurious apartments would give me even more cash. But for the time being, we are still making profit per year, and that's all that really matters. And of course over here, all the stone gradually coming in. That is going to allow us to build off this thing here when uh, we eventually remove all the dirt. Uh, we're going to have massive stone overkill here, but I did need to absorb what looked like to be a lot of unemployment coming up once all these people have moved in. They're going to yeah, get an extra 30% on top of our current workforce for this area here, which will be probably 15% of our total workforce given that... Uh, ooh! Subby is attacking you. Let's dispatch them, and we're going to send off all of our forts. Now that is a little bit risky. Dispatch them both. What I'm going to do is start importing a lot more weapons. We're going to import up to, let's go up to 12 here, if possible. And I'm going to throw down a hell of a lot more forts along the back here, because we've got all these uh, compounds now to really ramp up our military. Okay, Lan Zhou has launched an invasion against us because I sent off everything too quickly. That's unfortunate, considering that they are a valued trading partner. Uh, so those bastards are coming to invade us. What we can do is speak with Chang'an, our... Um, how do I... Send a diplomatic request. Request defensive aid from them. I'm also going to do it from Yen as well, because Yen likes us so much. I'm going to request defensive aid from those two cities. Uh, what I'm also going to have to do is work on getting our uh, our god prepared. So if I get rid of that house and, I don't know, that house there, I can throw down the Buddhist shrines on each of these. A shrine there and a shrine there will give us the coverage we need. Just have a look at Buddhism. So they're fully covered. And once we get these people fully covered here, then we'll be able to bring in our uh, defensive warrior monk. Okay, Bodhihama has arrived. He's going to sit up there for a while, which is nice. Also had another mission. Again, regards me highly. That's not really relevant. Okay, Bodhihama has arrived. That's the monk over here. And he is apparently defensive, so he can fight defensively. Uh, I'm not sure where the attack's going to come from, but we've got a couple of sets of people. And there were a shit ton of weapons available to be delivered as required. So... I think we should be able to defend ourselves 
assuming everything goes correctly. Okay, Chang An has given us some forces. That's very, very nice. Uh, reporting for duty. Where? Wait, wait. Where are they? Where? Oh, where are? Loaned troops. They are. Uh, let's have a look at them. There are four infantry. We have two crossbowmen. Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't. Oh, they are some horses, and must be a catapult somewhere. There is the catapult up there. Okay, so we've got a couple of forces. They can guard our northern flank for the time being. Uh, although it may be worthwhile moving them down south. I'm not sure where this attack is going to come from. Well, we have some good news. Our victorious soldiers have returned. So uh, it's one more month until we get invaded by La Lanzhou, whatever they're called. So where are our soldiers? Our soldiers have come in up here. You guys, I'm going to get, if I can click on you, yep, you're going to go over and defend here. Uh, you are you the battling rabbits? I'm gonna send you down there. Nope, that was the same one I picked. Let's pick the audacious rabbits. You guys can go over there, and my god, wherever he is, body harmor. You, my friend, can I suppose start walking up towards there. Now that'll mean I've got the west covered. I have the north covered, and uh, the northeast as well as the south. Hopefully. Oh, I can hold them off if they invade from one of those directions. Okay, Lanzhou has launched an invasion. Let's see if we can take them out. They're coming in from the northeast. And there we go, invasion force defeated. We absolutely crushed them. Uh, the body harmer guy was actually defeated and, and pushed back, but he put up a bit of a good fight, which was helpful. He had bought some time for our main troops to work their way up. Uh, with that invasion force defeated, we can send everybody back home. The other thing that popped up before, which I've never had happen, is that a spy was reversed. So let's try and use this. I assume that means I can go and just spy on them for free. Uh, let's sabotage their... I don't know, does it make a difference what they sabotage? Let's sabotage their food supply, because I don't particularly like them now that they uh, have been spying on me. Our body harm has, has returned, but that's really of no use. So that spy will go off and probably do something. I don't use spying in this game. I, um, I do know that you can use it to sabotage their military, but it is a little bit overpowered. It tends to push people right down to only one shield. So they're virtually uh, just just a walkover to beat, and uh, I don't want to do that if I can all avoid it. Okay, Yen is loving me, and we are leveling up to ornate apartments. So that is the maximum level, no, luxurious apartments. We're leveled up to luxurious apartments. That is the maximum level for all of our housing. Uh, looks like everybody is maxed out. Is that going to increase our workers? It will marginally, which is good. So it brings us up to maximum workridge and all we need to do now is wait for this big monstrosity to be built down here at the moment stone appears to be the limiting factor but we are chipping away at that pardon the pun as quickly as we can and there we go the grand canal has been completed with that looking absolutely spectacular see if i can undo this and pause yep before the month ended and we've won so that has fulfilled all of our goals once that uh ticks over the next month we'll have won so the city is looking spectacular i could probably uh, beautify this up slightly. Let's see what I can do back here just to get things looking nice and beautiful. I quite like these white ones as well. 
Uh, that should look good. And a couple of gardens to fill in all the gaps. The city is looking pretty bloody spectacular. I could, of course, make a tree-lined boulevard down here by uh, going down and uh, every four... I could do a you know a bit of work like that to beautify it up, but uh, unfortunately, it's all going to tick over very, very quickly. But we have ourselves the Grand Canal looking spectacular. I almost wish I'd built it earlier on, right before the, before the nobles got involved, so I could sort of enjoy the city with it completed. But anyway, that is the episode. Let's head onwards to victory. The Grand Canal is now complete. It is truly a marvel of modern engineering. Though the cost of its construction at times puts a severe strain on the economy, commercial products, foodstuffs, and troops can now more efficiently move from one point to another, further strengthening the bonds of the great Sui dynasty. And there we go guys, the Sui dynasty is getting stronger. The Grand Canal has been built. We have managed to do what is pretty much a fairly heavy import mission. Uh, we've only had tea and I suppose paper, a small fraction of paper, but basically tea was our main export here, and uh, almost nothing else could have been exported, so tax was a large portion of our income as well. And uh, we've got just over 36,500 strings of cash, so we are quite wealthy in the end. Anyway guys, that is the end of this mission. I will uh, see you next time. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content, as usual. And uh, if not, thumbs down button there waiting for you, uh, but drop a comment, at least let me know how I can improve. Take care guys, see you around.